Hi folks, Rodney Pearson here. And in this video, what we're going to do is examine my video, or let's say videos, because uh, the titles are absolutely accurate and correct. Mystery solved, ending explained, see who set up Tony Soprano. And Soprano's mystery solved, all questions answered. Now, this video I produced first. I produced this video one day later, okay, both in December of 2020. And uh, this video has all the views. Uh, this video doesn't have as many views as this one, as you can see. But I actually like this video better because I produced it second and it's just the, the production value is a lot better. And it's shorter, but I think it gives you a lot more information uh, than this one. And, and it's seven minutes shorter. So check it out if you have seen this video, but have not seen this one. Look at this video. I really, really think you'll enjoy it better. But let's get into the reason that I'm producing this video. Reddit. Now... I've heard a new term lately, an influencer. I guess it started by the Kardashians or something. I don't know. But it fits me because I definitely influenced these posts. These are brand new posts. And uh, they're, they're influenced by my videos. Uh, I heavily doubt Rhiannon is a plant. Um, they disagree with me. And that's fine. But my point is the conversation was started because of what I created. Okay, so I influenced them. And that's good. I like that. Um, same thing with this one. All of these posts are like new, brand new posts in the past year, in the past nine months since I've done, you know, created my video. Definitely this one. No doubt about it. Okay. And then this one was not influenced by me. This is the Reddit post that people throw up in my face to attempt to disenfranchise and discredit me as if this post did what I did when actually, no, this post didn't do anything but ask a question. And I'm gonna prove all of that soon. Right now, I want to continue on the influencer theme because I have influenced this fake to make a video. OK, do not watch his video. Do not watch it because it's fake. This pure Kino guy. OK, and do not uh, uh, cater to his Atlas VPN sponsor either. This is the real video. This is the fake. Mystery solved, ending explained, see who set up Tony Soprano, Rodney Pearson. But he's not fooling people. These are all recent posts. Vinegar, this has already been done. The fact that you're actually trying to claim it as your own theory is hilarious. And these are posts on Kino's page. Jack Tief Chieftain says, Kino, you're brilliant. And then... Mimo S says, so brilliant, he stole the theory from another YouTuber named Rodney Pearson. Here's a, Nathan Burton says, let's give Rodney Pearson credit where it's due. And he leaves my link to uh, my video. It leaves a link to my video. Thank you. Thank you. And then J3 7133 says, you should give credit to Rodney Pearson as he put out his video on this exact topic. Thank you, Jather. As you can see, many are appalled. Please voice your disdain to his corporate sponsor, Diana at AtlasVPN.com. Tell AtlasVPN that Kino must remove his video. There's the email address again. 
Now, my mystery solved, ending explained, see who set up Tony Soprano video is doing well, and I really appreciate all the support I've gotten. Bobby Noob says, that's a brilliant observation. AJ says, Rodney, I'm a huge Sopranos fan. I've watched the series at least 25 times trying to figure out what happened. Your thesis is totally on par and holds more weight than anything I've seen in 20 years. Thank you, AJ. Mike987 says, amazing catch. Never made the connection with Rhiannon. They would also want the hit to be in front of his family. That way they killed Phil. Uh, the way they killed Phil. I know what you mean, but you're right. Thank you. Nicholas Nicholas says, mate, just seen this here in London. This makes perfect sense. I can't believe no one has pieced the clues together until now. I can actually put this to test now. Thanks, Rodney. Actually, he means I can actually put this to rest now. Uh, as you can see, the T is right next to the R on the keyboard. He just, you know, made a mistake like we all do from time to time. Philly to Chicago says, I'm a Soprano super fan. My hat's off to you, bro. Never would have thought this far into it, although I 100% knew the members only dude took Tony out. Bravo. Thanks, Philly to Chicago. Basie 302 says, does Chase ever play the song Rhiannon during the series? Excellent job. I'm sold 100%. You nailed it. Yes, he does. I believe it's the D-Girl episode with John Favreau. And um, yeah, I believe that's the episode that Rhiannon plays. So yes, people are convinced. Uh, Lucy Goat commented, I think you got it. Joe D says, uh, came here after watching the video by The Thief. Uh, thanks, Joe D. Uh, Carl comments, bang on, sir. Uh, you know, I actually pinned his comment. It's so long. I don't want to read it. But uh, go to my page and um, you'll check it out, you know, on the uh, Mystery Solved video. It's uh, it's pinned. It, it's it's really great. So thank you very much. But this is the reason I'm making the video. Tim Dog commented, Rodney, man, my boy, I understand why you feel Pure Kino took the idea for your video from you because he did. And we all know it. But man, this theory has quietly been around for years. Tim Dog, you're wrong. Now, this is the same Tim Dog that I gave credit to in my Sopranos Continuity Flaws number two video. Check it out. So take a listen, folks. This is the actual audio from that video. Here's a comment from my boy, Tim Dog. Hey, Tim Dog, man, I really appreciate you. And here's what he has to say. Great watch, Rodney. I noticed something recently, and I just looked it up. When Paulie shoots the guy, take a look at the blood spatter to the guy's right at 40 seconds. The spatter is going the wrong way. This is the scene Tim Dog was talking about. And yes, how is blood spatter going to be way over there when you get shot in the middle of your head? I mean, it just doesn't work like that. So... Tim Dog, I appreciate that revelation, obviously, because I did put it in a video and gave you credit, something that Pure Kino has to learn to do, uh, because professional courtesy is very important, and this kid has not learned that. So uh, please, uh, folks, go to Pure Kino and tell them to take down that uh, fake Rhiannon video. But here's what's important. Tim Dog. You said that the Rhiannon theory has been around quietly for years. It is not a theory. The only theory out there is mine. Okay? And I'm going to prove right now how what you're talking about, that Reddit post, is not a theory. Okay, here it is. The Rhiannon post from five years ago. Okay? First off, when I put my video online... In December of 2020, I had no idea what Reddit was. I, I never heard of the site. This thing opened up 
when I say this thing, my video opened up a whole new world to me, okay? And Reddit is one of them. But when I did read this, and, and, and something else, individuals, basically, when they throw this up in my face, what they want to do is disenfranchise and discredit me. They don't want to give me the credit that I deserve, okay? Because if they had any brains, they would look at this and know that the poster is asking a question. And a question is not a theory. The, a question mark means they don't know. They're asking for help. Okay? Made in America. Did Rhiannon somehow sell out the Sopranos? They don't know. Okay? Now, for years, I felt the exact same way as this person did. I knew for sure that Rhiannon was involved and I knew for sure Butch was involved. And that's all I knew. Okay? But let's read this. Like the title says, what's up with Rhiannon? She gets an absolutely massive amount of screen time in the final episode and it doesn't really make sense when taken at face value. So then let's go all the way to the end. Okay. There are plenty of possible theories out there, ranging from Rhiannon dishing info to Polly, Patsy, via Jason, or whoever. But it but all of that feels like empty speculation without something to connect the dots a little more concretely any thoughts or ideas so this poster as we could see from the beginning of the post to the end of the post is lost they need help they brought it up but they didn't conclude anything because they don't know what I did was answer the question that they had five years later, but I answered the question. As I said, I knew Rhiannon was involved, for sure. I also knew Butch was involved, for sure. No doubt about it. Look at him here. And look at that gun, and we know who's pointing that gun. Our friend Tony Soprano. Rhiannon, obviously listening to the dinner plans of the Soprano, something that doesn't concern her, was suspicious. Even before that, Rhiannon showing up at the mental hospital was suspicious. Don't you guys think that too? I know I did. Once I found the tie that binds, I knew I solved it. And that tie was Rhiannon's pick on the wall in Butchie's salon. That's it. Period. That's the tie that binds. So people who are relying on this Reddit post to discredit me, you are either stupid or jealous or both. Because, especially after you see this, if you still feel the same way. Now, if uh, you don't feel the same way, you're a very intelligent individual. If you still feel the same way, then you're really messed up in the head, okay? You have to be super duper jealous. Because this says, did Rhiannon somehow sell out the Sopranos? The poster is asking a question. They're asking for help. They don't know what happened, but I was suspicious of Butch. I was suspicious of Rhiannon. When I saw those two together, I knew I solved the mystery. It's just that simple. And I'm the only one who did it. So if you don't want to give me credit, fine, but I don't need your credit because there's plenty of intelligent people out there who understand, and thank you very much 
for you people, the intellectuals out there. So this individual left their their final sentence is a question. Any ideas or thoughts? So the post is a question. Their final sentence is a question. So this is not a theory. They're asking for help. I answered their question and that's it. Thank you very much. Keep on watching. Please click the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you can be first in line for my new videos. Have a great day.